is Suki Gill. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share three healthy habits um, that I use in my life and I definitely think they'll be helpful for you guys as well. The first tip that I wanted to give you guys is to drink lots of water, um, especially if you're living in a warmer, um, if you're living in a country that's a little bit warmer, drinking water and keeping yourself uh, keeping yourself hydrated is really, really important. If you drink more water, you are you feel more full, so you're not gonna be eating or snack, snacking on junk food because you'll, you'll, you won't have as much of an appetite it's good for your skin if you're breaking out or you have really really dry skin like me drinking water is a must um, and I actually want to uh, share a little bit of a like a kind of like a fun tip um, drinking water is something we often forget so what I do at work I have like a kind of like I play like a little game with the people that I work with so whoever drinks the most water at the end of the week gets to make the other person do their work I'm just joking not really but you know there is some sort of incentive there you might have to buy the other person a uh, lunch for a day or something like that just to keep yourself motivated to continue drinking water and it's going pretty well usually I, I I'm pretty bad at drinking water so usually I'll like forget or I, I'll kind of remember at the near the end of the night I'm like oh crap I didn't drink any water today but if you play like a little game um, at home just play a little game with your kids or play a game with your uh, siblings to see who can drink the most water and whoever does can make the other person I don't know do something crazy dare them to do something crazy uh, anyway so that was point number one drink lots of water um, point number two is to eat colorful food so um, usually a food that's processed doesn't have a lot of color but if you eat a lot of uh, greens and you eat a lot of uh, colors um, that's actually gonna help you um, eat food that's high in nutrients rather than just eating kind of junk food um, so whenever you're going grocery shopping or whenever you're making your meals for the for dinner or lunch try to make sure you have lots and lots of color in it <laughs> that's just a small tip if you're seeing that your lunches do, uh, do not have a lot of color in them and it's it's a lot of whites um, or no colors <laughs> um, then you know you're eating a lot of processed food or food that doesn't have a lot of nutrients which is not good for you so this is a good rule of thumb to remind yourself to make sure that you're eating lots of colors yeah, so that's point number two. Point number three is really, really, really important as well. Number three is to get physical movement. It doesn't matter what it is. If going to the gym is not your thing, if doing sit-ups or crunches or uh, running is not your thing, find whatever it is that you like that will push you to be active. Um, so for example, with me, recently I joined a dance class because I wanted something that gets me off my feet, that requires me to be active. Um, but I didn't really want to go to the gym all the time <laughs> or I didn't really want to just do like the typical exercises like running or going on a walk and that I feel like is a lot more engaging and fun and at the same time I'm getting my physical activity in so if you guys don't like to exercise or just something that you don't like to do just find something or you know at the least go for a walk at the end of the at the end of the day um, or ride a bike whatever it is that makes you happy just just get some physical movement in and like I mentioned in some of my other videos Exercising is so so important because um, exercising releases endorphins and it puts you in a better mood, it makes you happier, uh, it helps you clear your mind, so exercising is very very important. But if you don't want to go to the gym, you don't want to do the regular stuff, find something you love. If it's dance or if it's um, joining a cycling class, doing, joining yoga, whatever it is that makes you happy, just join something. Force yourself to just join one thing this week and try to stick to it. And at the least, go for a walk. Tell yourself you're gonna go for a walk four days out of the week and challenge yourself to actually do it. If you set goals, it becomes a little bit easier to achieve them. Um, but if you don't set anything at all, then you're kind of not really doing much. So for tip number four, um, I wanted to recommend that everybody have a fixed sleeping schedule. Because if you keep screwing up your sleeping schedule, you sleep late one night, you sleep early, um, that's not really good for your body. It's very important that you have a sleeping schedule in place so your body is not constantly disrupted. So if you go to sleep from like say 10 to 6, make sure you get 8 hours of sleep. 8 hours is very important. But if you go to sleep from 10 to 6, try to have that routine in place every single day and you can do different things to remind yourself like i'll put an alarm for myself around you know 10 10 30 to remind myself to go to bed and then i have an alarm in the morning obviously to go to work but yes if you put an alarm on every night to remind you it will help you go to bed on time and i'm telling you guys trust me it makes a world of a difference when your body has a schedule or a routine and um, you're going to bed at the same time every single day rather than sleeping one night at 4 a.m and sleeping at 12 the other that's not really good for your body so yeah it's very 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 important to have a sleeping schedule and i know a lot of students struggle with this but trust me guys if you do your homework ahead of time if you go to class ahead of time um and you're not rushing all the time and you have a fixed schedule it will make you guys 
so much less stressed and it'll be very good for your body as well because you're not straining your body you won't always have like you know feel feel tired and have bags in your eyes because your body will, will feel a lot more refreshed so just try to do it for a week try to set yourself an alarm for the morning and the evening for one week and see how that goes number five uh, is basically to eat more in the beginning of the day so have a heavier breakfast and as the day goes on you got to you got to have smaller meals because otherwise if you're going to sleep right after eating, that's not really good for your body. Um, it's much better to eat a heavy meal early on in the day so your body has time to digest it, you're moving around, you're getting some uh, exercise in rather than just eating and going straight to bed. You're not going to feel, you're going to feel much more bloated going to bed, first of all. It's just you have a much better sleep and your body is able to better process your food if you're not having, if you're not eating before sleeping. Usually they say after seven, you shouldn't have a big meal or you should stop eating after seven, especially if you're trying to lose weight. It's really important that you stop eating seven. And mind you, this is something everyone struggles with. I personally struggle with this all the time um, I'm like I said I work during the day so in the morning I'm always rushing to get to work and then when I'm at work I have to think check my emails and get through stuff or for students you know you guys are studying late and then waking up in the morning and rushing so it's very very hard to do I understand but trust me guys if you start to build that habit of eat even if you're just making a smoothie for yourself and just get some spinach get some uh, get some fruits and just put them in a blender make yourself a smoothie even you know that will kind of help help your body get energized in the morning um whatever you can do you know whatever fits your lifestyle but it's something that you should definitely be thinking about and me as well i'm pretty guilty of this as well so eating a breakfast early on in the day rather than kind of starving yourself or forgetting to eat and then dying by the time it's lunch and then and then that causes overeating as well if you don't eat on time in the morning uh, once you do eat it's like you've never seen food before so you end up eating everything that's me <laughs> but that's pretty much it for my tips guys i really hope these tips help you um so i always try to give you guys tips that i've used in my life or that i have researched for myself because i think it's important that we continuously work on ourselves especially when it comes to health it's really important because um, if you start taking care of yourself early on um, you'll have a lot less health problems and it's just good to you know take care of your body sometimes we get so busy with other things we forget to take care of ourselves but it's also very 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 important so i hope these tips like i said help you guys if they do please let me know and i will make more videos like this but i hope you enjoyed this and if you do please comment like and subscribe to my video so that i am motivated to make a lot more <laughs> so that's it for today have a great day bye